Hi everyone, so welcome to the fifth episode about testing electronic components. So guys, we have seen how to test fuses, diodes, electronic capacitors. Now I'm going to teach you how to test triacs. So we're gonna study this two triac. Basically guys, I'm going to teach you every reference here. For example, the BTA basically means the category of this triac. 0, 8 and here we have 12 means the current here we have 12 amps as a maximum current this one 8 amps 600 b means means the voltage the maximum voltage so for triac basically it has three terminals we have anode 1 anode 2 and the gate and by the way my friends I have decided to start testing components based on your comments. You get to choose what I test next. Just leave your suggestion in the comments and the component that gets the most mentions will be the one I test in the next video. I am reading all your comments so don't hesitate to share your ideas. And please, if you enjoy these videos and want to support my work, the best way to say thank you for me is by liking and sharing the video. It really helps a lot. So guys, let's learn about electronics together at a high level, one component at a time. So before starting this episode, which component should I test next? Please enter comments. Let's first understand the theory part and then go ahead and test it using the multimeter. But please, before diving into testing, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon because I'm going to show you how to test all these components and many other components. Guys, as I told you, those components here is just 10% of the component I will teach you how to test. So guys, for the triac, let's see triac. Let's first draw its symbol. So always this pin here, this terminal here, this is one, two, three. Okay, my friends. So one always refer to anode one. Okay. Two refer to, to anode two. And three basically refer to the gate. So for the triac sample, my friends, it's easy two diodes. Okay, let's draw two diodes like this. Connected. Okay, the cathode of this one connected to the anode of this one, and the cathode of the second one connected to the anode of the first one. And then here we have one terminal here we have other terminal and over here okay we have the gate so this is the gate this one we called it anode one this one anode two sometimes my friend we can find anode one or t1 or m1 or sometimes also m t Two. The same here, A2 or anode 2 or T2 or M2 or MT2. So guys, this is the first symbol that we find usually, but there is another symbol for the triac, very simple, like this, my friend. The first diode, the second diode, here we have anode 1. Here we have anode 2, and over here we have the gate. So you can find also this symbol. So guys, I'm going now to show you a real circuit in order to understand how TRIAC works and then move on directly to testing using the multimeter. Let's do it right now. So please pay attention. So guys, let's draw first the TRIAC here, okay? using the simple symbol so we have the first diode here we have the second diode so let's see the anode here we have the anode one my friend connected 
to a power supply, let's see 12 volt for example, here we have plus, okay here we have 12 volt DC, so this side my friend will be connected to let's see a lamp and the lamp connected to anode 2, okay, so here we have a1 anode 1 the first terminal anode 2 what about the gate the gate here my friend will be connected to what for the gate this is the control the control part will be connected to what to a switch let's see like this we have a switch okay okay this is a switch and then the switch will be connected to a control signal here let's see we have here another power supply, but here we have 12 volt DC in the side. Here we have just about 1.2 volt. Okay, this, because this is just a control signal to activate the triac. Okay, so let's close the circuit like this. Now the circuit is closed. Good. So basically here we have the gate. Guys, this is a very simple circuit but the triac works like this if you understand the circuit you can understand how triac work in any motherboard just stay tuned we gonna say everything you are here in electronic basic i teach you step by step how to become professional and master electronics so guys we have the lamp basically here we have a lamp the lamp is off why because we have the switch is open means my friend that the current is not circulate through the circuit but once the switch is closed means 1.2 volt will pass through this wire to the gate and then the triac will be activated means the current will then circulate through the lamp through the triac and then the lamp will be lit exactly the same working principle as the transistor so we can see guys that the triac has the same working principle as a transistor but in terms of testing it's not the same and of course in terms of working principle so now we are gonna pass to triac testing the most important part in this video so of course we will use the diode option to check the triac and the good triac my friend is the triac that shows what that shows 070 here between the gate and another one here okay it shows 070 drop voltage between gate and another one or we can see gate and t1 or m1 or t2 or mt2 the same working principle so let's check using the multimeter right now okay basically my friend we have here two triacs let's begin with this one here with 12 amps i have pta 12 600 voltage 600 volt maximum values let's begin with this one my friend so here as i told you we have anode one anode two and then we have the gate so i have to find between e1 anode one and the gate 070 no problem in both sides let's do it so let's check my friend so between the anode one and the gate we have to find how much 070 so let's find out so here one probe in the anode one the second probe in the gate let's check we have 067 amazing good this is a good react even if i swap the probes like this i will find the same radio let's check as you can see 068 067 nice this is a good react let's check this one also my friends so this one basically this is the second triac as you can see bta08 means 8 amps 600 volt as a maximum so let's check it so guys if for example you find this triac is bad one you should replace it with another triac with same reference usually we'll find triacs with 600 volt but pay attention to the current here we have 08 means 8 amps in the first one we find 12 okay so pay attention to current so one probe here 
into anode one to second probe into gate okay as you can see my friend 064 amazing this is good why because always we have tolerance for all electron components and we have error for the multimeter okay so 64 drop voltage is good let's swap to probes so one probe here my friends okay in the another one the second here okay same already so guys this is how we test react and as i told you guys remember the reference i will break down for you the reference for beginner in order to understand very clearly so bta guys means the category or type of triac 08 means current rating or ampere 600 means voltage rating it can block 600 volts in both direction b means gate trigger means it is a triggered triac category okay here we have 140 means the date code 2011 week 4 for this one my friend we have 722 means 207 week 32 so i hope you understand my friends please guys if you understand about react please don't forget to subscribe share and like the video because your likes motivate me to create more useful videos for you and of course try to share this masterclass and this series with other friends other people in order to reach more friends and in order to help the channel so guys thank you very much and see you with another component and stay tuned because as i told you i'm going to show you how to test everything here and others this is just 10 percent of components that i'm going to teach you see you in the next episode